cold day here in Arizona. It's now the afternoon. Hunted all morning in another spot up in the mountains. Saw a bunch of does. Got in this spot for the afternoon. It's a pretty unique spot. We got a creek flowing behind us. We got this big, big hill in front of us. We're just sitting on a flat in between a creek and this big hill, so it's kind of a pinch point. So this spot looks really good. There's a lot of sign in here. And uh, John has had a trail camera up here and has seen some big, big goose deer running this edge. So we're going to sit tight. Arizona. Oh my goodness gracious. It is the first full day here in Arizona. We're at John Hedges Outdoor Logistics. We flew in yesterday, got a quick hunt in last night, hunted all day today. I've seen nothing but does up until this point. That's the first buck I've seen all week uh, in the two days we've been here. And I just put down a buck season velvet coos deer with the bow yes there it is we are in Arizona with John from outdoor logistics I was not expecting such a nice coos deer they are uh, I guess you could say a cousin of the whitetail much much smaller cousin and uh, they're actually the smallest of the deer species here in North America Thanks so much, brother. You got it. Really you appreciate got it. it. We're out here with uh, John, Outdoor Logistics in Arizona, early season uh, coos deer hunt with the bow. What an awesome hunt, man. This is a tough, tough hunt. Luckily, got it done on the first day. Just happened to be the lucky one today. But uh, these coos deer, man, what's the, what's the deal with them? I mean, they're obviously a smaller version of the whitetail, but... Yeah, correct. That they're, they're a subspecies of the whitetail. Um, you know, they're they're real hardy here. They live in uh, elevations from about 2,000 feet up to about 10,000 feet. And the, and they eat good, I hear. Yes, bet. I, I can tell you, they're probably the best whitetail you'll ever eat. Really? Best deer you'll ever eat for sure. There are many reasons we choose Athens archery. Made in the USA, the ever-growing list of authorized dealers, lifetime warranty, and the popular Save Your Hunt program are just the start. Visit AthensArchery.com to find your local dealer. There is a reason we have success all over the world, and that's why we trust Trees and Camouflage. Whether you're hunting early season or late season, go to Treason.com to see for yourself. Ragweed Forge has gained a reputation for their dedication to quality, craftsmanship, and outstanding personalized service. Whether it's for filleting fish, work, butchering, or meat processing, 
visit ragweedforgestore.com. this place we are in the middle of the mountains in Arizona on public land with a bow hunting coos deer a very elusive spooky smaller version of the whitetail Oh, you are the man, brother. You just got yourself a coos deer, buddy. He looks like a good one, too. What's a coos deer? He looks like a good coos too in velvet. Arizona, man. Yo, thank you so much, Sean. I can't even thank you enough for inviting me, oh, dude. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> I not thank you enough. This because it's not hunting season. And now I'm hunting in August in Arizona for velvet whitetails. Miniature version. If I was a whitetail, that would be me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's midday, it's prime time for coos. So we're grabbing the bows and we're gonna head up into the national forest and uh, try to get some of these coos deer. Yes. So let's work up that bottom that way. There's been a lot of coos in here. It's midday, it's hot. Sean behind the camera. Let's go. Let's do it. You just oh. put down a beauty coos, man. That's a beautiful coos buck. It's a quick hunt, happened quick. Sean behind the camera, it is amazing. Last day, I just punched my tag here in Arizona, and let's go get him. Let's get him. Oh man. Oh my God, dude. Wow, he is beauty. That's a gorgeous six point. Made quick work midday, these deer are moving. And I am just so lucky to be able to put this buck down. I couldn't be any happier with that. <laughs> that is awesome, bro. After getting the invite from John to travel west and hunt the coos deer, we quickly realized how special hunting this tiny deer was. We love to travel and chase different species around the world, so this opportunity was right up our alley. A huge thank you to John with Outdoor Logistics. We will be back.
B3 Archery offers releases, sights, and broadheads for hunters and archers around the world for hunting around the world. B3 Archery. Built the best, buy the best, for the best. Drinking milk is a great way to meet the body's needs for nine essential nutrients and vitamins. It helps build stronger bones, maintain muscle mass, and it helps power us at Bone Cold TV to achieve greatness. Go to milkforhealth.org to learn more. 60 years of dedication to animal nutrition. That is the foundation that creates Monster Meal. It gives every product manufactured the quality only our recognized safe feed, safe food, certified meals can provide. Monster Meal, animal attraction, premium nutrition, superior results. Labor in Colorado. Man, we are stoked to be here with the Bone Cold TV guys, man. Colorado Springs, our first antelope hunt ever. I know it's Brandon's first. We're with Sean's got a lot of experience with these big goats out here, and we're just stoked to get here. That's not going in a sandwich, that's for sure. If it does, I'll eat it. I would say. <laughs> we just arrived, it's 11 o'clock. Gonna hit camp, and we're gonna be after antelope first thing in the morning. We got uh, Jeff, Jim, Sean, myself, we're gonna hit it hard. His shoulder, his leg. He's hurting bad. Just gotta give him some time. Whew, he's a monster too. It's a big one we chased down here in the flat and got within 45 yards and he winded us, but once he lays up, we'll get on him again. He's down, my man. You just got your animal, buddy. <laughs> oh, dude. <sighs> Good job, man. I owe you for that one, man. <sighs> it's the last morning, nine o'clock, and we've just been close encounter after close encounter. You got yourself an antelope, big man. Thank you, God. <sighs> Sean is stuck by my side all week, and I kept saying, take your turn, take your turn, and he wouldn't do it. Almost broke right there. We got the serious guys in camp, Jeff and Jim. 
he said, let's do a hunt. And we said, hey, let's go antelope hunting. Luckily, Sean has some history here, a veteran of our military, making connections. And I don't know what, 16, 17, 18 years later, in the eastern plains of Colorado, over-the-counter archery. Sean, let's go get yours, come on. Let's do it. We gotta get going. Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the Pro Series does have it all. Wireless SD card reading ability, you can share, delete, save images, wind checker, 1400 puffs per cartridge, LED red and white lights, power bank charger, compass, and even maps. This thing has everything you need. Will you go to prom with me? Yes, I will. <laughs> Not easy hunting. It's hot, open terrain, tough to stalk. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna get Jim moved, and uh, we're going back to the house. Brandon and I. We gotta make some plans here. Make some moves. Huge herd of antelope spotted down here in this bottom. It's perfect. Here we go, you ready, buddy? He's looking, but I don't think he caught us. There's another one above him feeding. We're in the last day here in Colorado. It's hot, mosquitoes are out of control. And we just walked about two miles to get to this spot. There's some antelope out here feeding. Sure we're good? Yeah, awesome. You could film good. Yep. Just wait for me, okay? Good. You smoked him, dude. You killed him right there. Perfect shot. He's going down. Get up here, bud. I can't believe that just happened. Brandon just killed his, what, three hours ago? See, there's like a, a draw carved out through this canyon here. They are probably one of the toughest, toughest animals to hunt. They're fast, their eyesight, they smell everything. And we did it. <laughs> Took us four and a half days to get an antelope down. Brandon shot his antelope just three hours ago. In the very first stalk after Brandon shot his, we got to 72 yards of this guy feeding and made a great quartering shot. End of story.
stuff while they were here. And then they <laughs> right, like, you guys <laughs> sit over here. We'll be back. Outdoors for Our Heroes' mission is to help service disabled vets build hope, confidence, and family strength through quality outdoor adventures. Good job, guys. Oh. Our wartime service disabled veterans are facing many new challenges in life they have never anticipated. If you would like to learn more about Outdoors for Our Heroes, our landowner that wants to host a hunt, or to find out how to help, visit OutdoorsForOurHeroes.org.